Classic TV fans, Rick9G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about The Lucy Show. More specifically, about how the series kind of evolved over time. This is not going to be a comprehensive look at the entire show. Every episode, there's going to be things that I miss. My main focus here is to talk about bits and pieces as to the result of Lucille Ball essentially changing her entire show from the way it started in season one to season six and see how many people, how many actors essentially left the show or written out of the show. And by the end, the show was almost recognizable to what it once was. I'll get into all the details in just a little bit, but I do want to let you know that I am giving away a DVD set, a DVD set for every single episode from season one of The Lucy Show. It includes 30 episodes. How do you win? Well, you have to watch the entire video and I'll let you know. Now, my aim is always to make these videos for people who love these shows. If you love the show, no matter what skill set or what type of fan you are, these videos are for you. So I think I wanna cater this more maybe to the individuals who don't know much about The Lucy Show. And that's important because if we're talking about Lucille Ball, the beginning is I Love Lucy in terms of her television career. After her separation, her divorce from Desi Arnaz, she moved to make another show with her co-star Vivian Vance. Bill Frawley was not on board. He had other projects, other things he was working on. So The Lucy Show ran from 1962 to 1968. Now, it ran for six seasons, which is interesting because so did I Love Lucy, six seasons, a half an hour episodes, and so did Here's Lucy, six seasons. So six, six, well, you know. Now let's continue. The first 15 episodes, only episode one through 15, Desi Arnaz was the executive producer. Then we have Elliot Lewis who took over. And then essentially throughout the course of the show, Lucille Ball herself and her next husband, her second husband, Gary Morton, both of them were executive producers. Now season one was all in black and white in regards to how it was filmed, that is to black and white negative, and then we have to the option of color negatives going from season two through six. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about I Love Lucy while we're looking at images of the Lucy show, and just seeing how I Love Lucy, they had episodic subplots. That is, every episode pretty much had its own story. However, there was a larger overarching story, which was the main plot about the Ricardos, the baby, right? That story would overarch throughout many episodes, and then each episode would kind of be a subplot of that main plot. Now, with The Lucy Show, it's a little bit different because it was very episodic. I would say that the best way to understand The Lucy Show, just see it like a variety show. Don't even really think about it as what's going to happen next week, something exciting. Well, no, it's just going to be a variety show, kind of like SNL in a way. Yes, show would play Lucy and, and so forth, but a lot of people would go in and out. There was very little consistency in actors who would be there one week, who would there be next week for many different reasons you would see different people but you would always see Lucy there. Now in order to understand who left and maybe the reasons why which I don't want to really get into in this video it's just more of an overlook of the Lucy show I think this is a great chart I didn't make it but it was well put together and I thought it would be great to show it to you. These are all the seasons of the Lucy show on the left one through six then how many episodes? Season one had 30 episodes. Season two had 28, a little bit less. Season three had 26, a bit less. 24, excuse me, 26 for season four, even less than that. Season five had only 22, the least of the entire series. And then the sixth season, the final one had 24 episodes. You can see when they first aired there between 1962 and 1967 and when it last aired, which is great. Now the rank is really important because it shows essentially how popular the show was. I mean, it started off number four popular show, it went to six, it dropped down and continued dropping down kind of in the mid range of the show, but then started to creep up in season four all the way to three and season four essentially was the most successful season up to this point it went back down just a little bit but the show ended on a very high note ranking number two you can see the rating share next to it and how many 
households were watching the show. I mean, it was a fairly popular show. To say it was equally as popular as I Love Lucy is incorrect, but it was still a very good show and people did enjoy it. Going back to the show itself, I would say that every episode has a big climactic funny scene and that's the entertainment that we should look for. Once that happens, once the story builds up to that, you're done. Most of the time, I would say most of the time, this is just kind of my assumption or just my conclusion is that the dialogue before isn't that great. It isn't the best dialogue ever because it's usually Lucy and just some other characters that we don't care too much about. The main thing is the funny scene that we're looking for and the best episodes have the best funny scene, the best physical comedy. I mean, that's what we love Lucille Ball for. Now in this show, Lucy is a widow. Vivian is divorced, played by, of course, Vivian Vance. And they are in Danfield. The show starts when they are in Danfield. Later in about, I believe, season four, Lucy moves to Los Angeles. Lucy, her character, started out with two kids, a boy and a girl. And Vivian had a boy on the show as well, at least in regards to their characters. Now, when season four came out, a lot of that was changing because some of these characters started to be phased out. Lucy's daughter, that is the character who played Lucy's daughter, was slowly phased out and essentially she disappeared and they explained it by her going to school. Same thing with the son who they say, well, he went to military school. Vivian in the show got married. We didn't even see that wedding. We just saw a little bit of dialogue that said, yep, she got married, and then we never saw Vivian again, other than a couple guest starring roles where she came in just here and there, not too many times. Her real life, she was focused on her real life husband. She wanted to spend more time with him. Now, the character Lucy Carmichael had a trust fund left over by her husband, or late husband, that is the character, and we have this character of Mr. Burnsdall, played by Charles Lane, who essentially was Lucy's money manager, right? Uh, kind of managing that trust fund and he was the one who was supposed to get upset and so forth. But that character, even though Charles Lane was liked by Lucille Ball and he was a great actor, it was just not a great fit in the beginning. So they did away with his character and they brought in Mr. Mooney who was more someone who had better chemistry with Lucille Ball and it was just overall a better story. The trust fund kind of later went away and all these people went away. I'll actually show you a really cool chart here where it shows you who left and what happened, what we started with, and then what we finished with. Now here's a chart, again, I, get, I didn't make this, but I really think it is great. Let's start from the bottom. Charles Lane, I mentioned him, Mr. Barnstall. Now he was a recurring character in season one. Unfortunately, he was removed. He was written out of the show. You can see he was not in season two, three, four, five, six. He was gone after season one. Look at Dick Martin playing Harry. He was Lucy's essentially boyfriend or man that she was dating. He started very strongly in season one. I would say the character had very little chemistry with Lucio Ball. And so boom, look, he was written out of the entire show all throughout from two to six. We have next up little Sherman, Vivian Vance's son. We could see that he was a regular from season one and two, and then season three, he was recurring. He was here and there, and then boom, he was gone, four, five, and six. The first three characters I just named are completely gone. Now, look at Jerry Carmichael. This is Lucy's son in the show. He was a regular as well, all the way into season four, but recurring means he would come here and there, not really a regular, and boom, look, written off of the show. Lucy's daughter on the show, who played Chris Carmichael. She was a regular, again, recurring, and then boom, she completely left the show. Now, there are other differences here, and I will get to them in a little bit. Let me jump up to Vivian Vance. Vivian Vance was starring, okay? I really, really put that in there. She wasn't just a regular. She was starring alongside Lucille Ball. And then in season four, she was essentially gone, and then here and there, she was peppered in a couple episodes in five and six. She decided she would rather spend time with her real life husband than to be on the Lucy show. If we continue on going down to Mary Jane Croft, she was on I Love Lucy. She was a recurring character here and there. 
Season three, she was completely gone. And then she became a regular four, five, and six. The only thing I don't completely agree with four, five, and six, I wouldn't even say she was a regular. She was recurring. Yes, she she did star in a couple episodes or supporting Lee Star with Lucille Ball, but she wasn't very consistent. Gil Gordon, he was never present in season one. He was a regular in two and three, and then he finally starred. So essentially you could say he replaced Vivian or he replaced that co-star for Lucio Ball that the show needed. And then of course Lucio Ball had the, she's the only one, she's the only character of the Lucy show who was consistently there between season one all the way to six. No one else. There was no one else on the show was consistently there. Even executive producer, director, she was the only constant. Lucy was left alone. I mean, she had people around her, but no one was consistently with her on the show. It's essentially the Lucy show. That's what it was. Now, I would say that the character of Mr. Barnstall was written off the show because, well, Charles Lane wasn't really a physical comedian as Gail Gordon was. Lucille Ball would have many of her friends and probably the biggest stars both in movies and TV would come on the show and they were great. I mean, they were pretty good. I mean, they made the show. If you ever think you wanted to see Lucille Ball with X individual, it happened. I mean, it was here and it was one of the best things to see on screen. The Lucy Show, going as high as second in the Nielsen ratings, was a super popular show. But why did it end? Was it really canceled? Well, not really. It was Lucia Ball herself. Remember, she owned the whole production company, the whole movie studio and everything. She said, you know what? At this time, there are enough episodes. I'm done. There's enough reruns for The Lucy Show. Let's move on to something new. What did she do? She started another show, Here's Lucy, with her real children, Lucy Arnaz Luckinbill and Desi Arnaz Jr. That's for another video to cover. But this gives you a rough idea of what The Lucy Show is. I would recommend it. It is a fairly good show. Don't expect I Love Lucy. Expect Lucille Ball's craziness. Um, some fairly good dialogue, some fairly good situations. There are very well-written episodes. There are some that are not great. But there are some gems in there which you should not miss. Maybe I'll highlight a lot of them more in future videos. Thanks so much. I like this longer look at this type show so that people can get more of an idea, introduce more people to certain shows. If you like videos like this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really does help out. Now, I know a lot of you want to know how to win the Lucy Show official first season DVD set. You have to be a subscriber. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the thumbs up button. Thirdly, I want you to write a comment below Lucy's show. Make sure it says Lucy's apostrophe show. As long as that is in your comment, you can write whatever you'd like. Let me know if you've seen a lot of the Lucy show, if you have it, maybe what your episode, your favorite episode is, your favorite character. I would love to know, maybe the supporting character. Were you sad when Vivian Vance left? I kind of like Mr. Mooney. I liked him a lot with his chemistry with Lucio Ball. And finally, there's a link in the description. Click on that link, fill out that information. It's absolutely free to be able to be chosen a winner. You don't have to pay one cent. I'll ship it off to you and I'll announce the winner on the YouTube community page. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for the support and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.